Before we start, if you like this video, please support my channel by pressing like and if you subscribe, press the notification bell so that you will get alerts if I have new videos to upload, okay? And guys, by doing it, I will appreciate it very much. Hello guys, this is Randy from Runs Graphics and welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. Today, we will be making this. Let's create a new composition and I will name it logo placeholder. 3840 by 2160 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration. Click OK. Open the project assets. Open the RG logo. Drop down this RG logo into the timeline. Press S on the keyboard for the scale. Set the value here to 20%. Then I will go back to composition. Create a new composition. I will name it metal texture. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration, click OK. Then I will open the image, drop down this metal texture into the timeline. Press this on the keyboard to scale it up to 200%. Go to composition, create a new composition. I will name it reflection. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration, click OK. Drop this image into the timeline. Press S on your keyboard for the scale. Set it to 50%. Then highlight this layer. Go to effects and preset. Stylize motion tile. Set the output width to 500. And the output height is 500. Check the mirror edges. And create a keyframe here by hitting this stopwatch on the tile center. Then move your playhead to the end of your timeline. Set the exposition here to 6000. I think that should be good enough. All I have to do is to go to composition and create a new composition. And I will name it logo reflection. Click OK. I will open my project panel and drop down this logo placeholder into the timeline. I will also highlight this metal texture, drop it down to the timeline. Highlight the reflection and drop it down into the timeline. Highlight this metal texture, go to effects and preset, color correction, curves. I just want to darken it a bit. Highlight reflection map, press on your keyboard for the scale. I just want to scale it up to 200%. Go to effects and preset, add curves and drag the curves like this then go back to effects and preset blur and sharpen choose the fast box blur and set the blur radius here to 45 then the iteration is 1 then change the blending mode here to add this metal texture change this to multiply go to layer create a new solid name sweep click ok now go to effects and preset Go to Generate CC Light Sweep. I will set the direction here to negative 48. Set the width here to 180. And the sweep intensity, change this to 34. Then change the blending mode here to Add. Now as you can see that the light sweep is in here. So all I have to do is to move that just on the left side before the logo. Make sure that the play is at the beginning of your timeline. Press Alt on your keyboard and hold it to create an expression. By clicking this stopwatch, then type the expression value, space, class, space, close and open bracket key, then time, times 100, comma, zero. Go to composition, create a new composition, name it slash shape. Then 
3840 by 2160 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration click ok go enable the title action save go to view and check this show rollers i will create a guide horizontally at the center here i will zoom it in a bit grab the pen tool and draw a line like this then i will open the shape contents and path go to stroke i will disable the fill and enable the stroke then i'm using only 10 pixels go open taper i want the start length to be 15 and length i want it 15. change the value of the start ease to 5 and ease is 5. click this tiny icon in here choose the trim path open the trim path and make sure that your plate is at the beginning of the timeline create a keyframe on the end make the value here to zero then go your plate to about five frames set the end value to 100 open transform shape one create a keyframe on the position by hitting the stopwatch forward your plate to about three frames then make sure that this line will be out of your canvas on the right side so all i have to do is to drag the x position on the right side until the line is out of the canvas then move back the playhead at the beginning of the timeline highlight this keyframe and right click your mouse keyframe assistant is easy in then go to composition and create a new composition i will name it shape this time we will be using 5000 by 5000 pixels click ok zoom it out now make a guide here on the horizontal and also on the vertical then go to layer and create a new solid i want this color of the solid white then i will grab the pen tool i will draw a shape like this open the mass path make sure that the play is at the 8 seconds and 15 frames make a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch on the mass path move back your play at the 5 seconds duration adjust this path here move my plate again backwards to the 2 seconds duration and again i will adjust this path smaller then i will move back my plate to the 1 second duration adjust this path like this so when we preview this one let's see this is what we got highlight this layer go to effects and preset go to distort and choose this optics compensation i will change the field of view to 94 i will check this reverse lens distortion check this optimal pixels i will probably just adjust it shorter like that and this one to here there you go if we will move forward or play it up to 8 and 15 frames it's still not covering the whole entire area all we have to do is to adjust the field of view to probably 101.8 then i will go to composition create a new composition i will name it shape mat Now I'm gonna change this width to 3840 by 2160. 30 frames per second, 12 seconds duration, click OK. Zoom it in. Then go to layer, create a new solid. I want this black. Click OK. Then open project panel. I will drop down this slash shape into the timeline. Press R on the keyboard for the rotation. Change the value on the rotation to about negative 26. Highlight this slash shape. Go to effects and preset. Go to color correction. Curves. Change this RGB to alpha. Just drag it up. Go to effects and preset. Go to stylize. Choose this roughen edges. Set the value on the border to 10. Edge sharpness probably 46. Then the scale value probably is 60. 
press and hold your keyboard out to create an expression on the evolution type time times 100 i will close it i will open my project panel again highlight shape drop it down to the timeline press r on your keyboard for the rotation set the rotation to negative 26 move forward your play to 15 frames duration go to effects and preset go to distort turbulence displays then set the amount here to zero hit the stopwatch here to create a keyframe move forward your play to about two seconds and 15 frames set the amount to 180 then highlight the shape again and go to effects and preset go to stylize roughen edges set the size here to 23 and the roughen edges i'll change this border to zero make sure that your blade is at the one second and 10 frames then create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch in here on the border and then i will change the fractal influence to about 0.96 change the complexity to 4 move your blade forward to about 1 second and 26 frames change the border to 20 press you on your keyboard to see the keyframes move your blade to 2 seconds and maybe 11 frames set the value here to 61.65 Move your play to 2 seconds and 20 frames duration and set the border to 70. Move your play to about 3 seconds and 10 frames duration and set the border to 45. Then highlight the shape, go to effects and preset, go to stylize, find edges and check this invert. Now highlight the shape, go to layer, new solid click ok then go to effects and preset color correction curves then drag these curves up like this then change the blending mode to add then go to composition create a new composition name it slash matte reveal Thirty forty by 2160 30 frames per second and 12 second duration click ok then i will open my project panel then highlight this slash shape drop it down to the timeline go to effects and preset go to color correction curves then change this rgb to alpha i just want to drag it up a bit like this then go to effects and preset go to stylize choose this rough edges go back again to your project panel and drop down this shape into the timeline go to effects and preset go to distort and add turbulent displays i will again go back to effects and preset go to stylize and add rough and edges then move the play head to about 24 frames then highlight this layer and press open bucket key to move that layer then move your play head 11 seconds and 24 frames then highlight this layer press close bracket key to move that layer move back your player to about one second duration go to edit and split the layer highlight this layer and delete it then highlight the shape again so that you can see the effects in here highlight both these layers press r for the rotation and change the rotation here to negative 26 move forward your play to about one second and 14 frames go to turbulent displays and create a keyframe on the amount by hitting the stopwatch here change the value to zero go to rough and edges create a keyframe on the border by hitting the stopwatch and change this value to zero press on your keyboard you to see the keyframes then move forward your play to about two frames and then change the border amount to 21 forward your play to about two seconds and a frame then change the border amount to 61 then move forward your play to about two seconds and 16 frames and change the border amount to 48 then go to turbulent displays and change the amount to 200 and change the size here to 38 as you can see the shape we don't want this one so all i have to do is to go back to shape and i will just adjust this 
like that also this one i will go back to slash mat reveal as you can see it's looking better now i'll go to layer and create a new adjustment layer go to effects and preset go to color correction and add curves drag this graph up like this now i will go to composition and create a new composition name it slash particle click ok open project panel open footage highlight this footage and drop it down to the timeline then right click your mouse go to transform with the comp now go to composition create a new composition i will name it main 3840 by 2160 the 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration click ok then i will go to layer create a new solid and i will name it bg or background i want to change this color to black click ok then i'm gonna open this project assets go to footage and drop down this final bg into the timeline right click the mouse go to transform and with the comb press t on the keyboard for the opacity change the opacity here to 55 percent highlight this final bg layer and go to effects and preset go to color correction curves i just want to darken it a bit like that go to effects and preset color correction add tritone now here i'm gonna open my project assets close this footage and open this image drop down the color guide into the timeline and then place this color guide just here and again i will highlight this final bg go open my effects control take this color picker and choose this color and i will delete this color guide now i will open my project panel again close this image close this assets folder highlight this logo placeholder drop it down to the timeline press ctrl d to duplicate it twice then go to effects and preset go to generate fill and i want the color here white click ok go to effects and preset go to generate vegas go to segments and change the segments to 2 the length change this to 0.830 and press the keyboard out and hold it create an expression on the rotation then type time times 50 then change the blending mode here to stencil i want to change this with to 5.3 I will change the start opacity to 0, the midpoint opacity 1, and the midpoint position is 0 0.931. Highlight this placeholder and go to effects and preset. Go to channel solid composite. Change the color here to black. Then go to effects and preset. Go to color correction and try tone. I will open my project panel again. Open this project assets. Go to my image and i will drop this color guide into the timeline move this color guide just above the left corner of your canvas highlight this placeholder go to effects control take this color picker and choose this color highlight this placeholder go to effects and preset go to stylize and add glow then change the glow radius here to 24 then highlight the glow and go to edit and duplicate it i will then change the glow radius here to 75 and then i will highlight this color guide and delete it highlight this placeholder press ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate it then i will open my project panel drop down this logo reflection into the timeline then change the blending mode here on your logo placeholder number two to add also the logo placeholder number three change the blending mode to add now i highlight the logo reflection open effects control and go to effects and preset go to stylize add cc glass go to effects and preset go to channel add set matte then go back to effects and preset go to color correction and curves so open surface then i will set the property here to luminance set the softness to 1.4 
then the height i will set this to 9 then open the light options i will change the light height to 68 then the light direction i will change this to negative 72 go to set mat and change the take mat layer logo placeholder 5 go to curves and change the curves like this then go to composition and create a new composition i will name it final 3840 by 2160 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration click ok I'll go back to project panel open this footage folder and drop down this smoke prt2 into the timeline move your play to about 14 frames press open bucket key to move that layer then press t on your keyboard for opacity then create a keyframe here by hitting the stop watch on the opacity change the value here to zero then move your play to about two seconds and change the value here to 50 percent then go to layer create a new camera i'm using a custom camera 1635.23 zoom lens and angle of view is 45 click ok then i will move my play at the beginning of the timeline press view on the keyboard for position create a keyframe here by hitting the stopwatch then move my play to the 5 seconds duration change the value on the z position 4229.23 then i will go to layer create a new solid click ok then go to your project panel and drop down this main into the timeline just above the black solid 3 and also the slash map reveal drop it down to the timeline change the track mat here to luma mat go highlight this smoke prt2 and go to effects and preset color correction tritone go back to my project panel and open this image i will just temporarily drop down my color guide into the timeline i will move it on the upper left corner of my canvas i like this smoke prt2 footage and go to effects and preset color correction curves again go to effects and preset color correction and add tritone then go back to effects and preset add a stylized glow pick this color picker and choose this color and change the graph here like this scroll down i will change the value on the glow threshold to 56.5 i highlight this glow and control d on my keyboard to duplicate it change this glow threshold to 30.2 and the glow radius i will change this to 86 go back to your project panel open the footage i like this isla smoke mat and drop it down into the timeline i like this color guide and disable the visibility on it then i will highlight this smoke mat go to effects and preset color correction add tritone then i will enable the color guide here pick the color picker on the tritone and i will just choose this color disable again the color guide and go to project panel highlight the shape mat and drag it down into the timeline go to effects and preset go to noise and grain add fractal noise change the fractal type to dynamic twist and change the contrast to 326 open transform change the a layer to 76 press your keyboard out and hold it then click the stopwatch on the evolution to create an expression then type time times 100 then change the blending mode here to add and go to effects and preset go to color correction add tritone enable the color guide in here and go to tritone pick the color picker choose this color now i will change the blending mode here on the fractal noise to multiply so all i have to do is to go to effects and preset go to stylize and go glow i will just change the glow threshold here to 30 and the glow radius i will change this to 19 open project panel and highlight this slash shape drop it down into the timeline go to effects and preset go to generate and add fill pick this color picker and choose this color then go to effects and preset go to stylize add glow change the glow threshold to 47 
duplicate the globe and change this to 46.7 go back to the project panel highlight this slash particle drop it down into the timeline then go to effects and preset go to color correction add dry tone pick this color picker and choose this color then change the blending mode here to add and the slash shape change this to add make sure that this is highlighted and press r on your keyboard for the rotation and change the rotation here to negative 26 so let's see if we will scrub our playhead or maybe just preview it better i will move my play at the end of my timeline probably 11 and 16 frames press close bracket key to move that layer then i will move my play head back to the 11 and 11 frames highlight this layer and press close bracket key to move that layer move your play head backwards to 6 and 20 frames then highlight this layer press close bracket key to move that layer move my play head at the beginning of my timeline and let's preview this nice i like it so now it's time for me to delete this color guide i will highlight this slash particle and go to effects and preset go to blur and sharpen i'll just add fast box blur i want the iterations one and the blur radius is five so we want to see some particles in here all i have to do is to just move this one in here grab the text tool and type company name I'm using Leto, 72 pixels. I will align it horizontally. Then I will highlight this layer. Press open bucket key to move that layer. Then press T on my keyboard for opacity. Change the value here to zero. Create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch. Move my plate forward to about six seconds. Change the opacity to 100%. Go back to your project panel. Assets, open it up, sound effects, highlight it all and drop it down into the timeline. I will move this probably at 9 seconds duration. Open my audio wave here. So I will move this layer on the left side. Highlight this layer, right click your mouse and go to transform P to comb. Then I will highlight this one just to check it if our layer is fit to comb. Go to composition, create new composition. We will name it render. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second, 12 seconds duration. Click OK. Drop down this final into the timeline. Press T on my keyboard for opacity. Then move my playhead forward to about 10 seconds duration. And change the value here to 0%. Create a keyframe on the opacity. Move your playhead to the end of your timeline. And change the opacity to 0. Then move back your playhead at the beginning of your timeline. And let's preview this. So now guys we are done with our tutorial. I hope that this tutorial helps you. For those people who subscribe my channel, thank you very much. And for those who have not yet subscribed, you can press the button subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you will be updated to all the videos that I'm gonna be uploading in the future. And my thoughts for today guys is that never underestimate your will, okay? So thank you very much for watching and see you next time. God bless.